How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I want to show you guys the best VPNs for the Brave browser. And with Brave becoming more and more popular because it has a strong focus on privacy, uh, it's open sourced and based on the Chromium web browser, and it stops annoying ads and trackers. But obviously, there's only so much a browser can do to keep you safe or private online to truly secure your internet traffic. It's not enough to just use a more anonymous browser such as you know, Brave or DuckDuckGo or even the Tor browser. Uh, what you want to do is pretty much secure your entire connection using a VPN. Because when you connect to a VPN server, the traffic traveling to and from your device is encrypted, securing it from hackers and snoopers alike. Another benefit is that by connecting to a server in another country, you can spoof your location, allowing you to access region locked or government censored content. And this includes streaming services like a whole bunch of Netflix libraries, who Hulu, Amazon Prime Video, and of course, the fact that you're changing your IP address, your ISP won't even be able to tell that you're using uh, the IP address that they give you in the first place, and they won't be able to record anything about you anymore because everything will be encrypted and you'll be using the secured server of the VPN. As you can tell here, it shows that I'm in New York simply because I'm using the New York server and just as easily I can switch to Madrid. And as far as my internet is concerned, I am now in Spain. Just refresh on the IP finder and voila, I am in Spain. It's as simple as that. So I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three as the best overall. It's what I usually recommend to family and friends. You know, uh, they all vary in budgets and features, so there's something for everyone here. Pick and choose depending on your own preferences and your situation. If you're looking for something that is pretty much the best for unblocking uh, censorship firewalls, especially if you're in China, with a heavy focus on anonymity, uh, privacy, ease of use and compatibility, go with ExpressVPN. It's an incredible VPN, very premium, but of course it comes with a premium price. But if you're looking for something that offers a whole bunch of bonus features with an emphasis on speed, thanks to the NordLynx protocol, making NordVPN arguably the fastest VPN in the business, then go with NordVPN. Especially that it's so well-rounded considering the price you're paying. Very reasonably priced, uh, must I say. And of course, if you're looking for the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without necessarily sacrificing any of the security or premium features that you get with more expensive VPNs, then Surfshark is a great option, especially that it allows you to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription, making it a very convenient option for you to share it with friends and family because NordVPN will only allow for up to six devices per account and Express for up to five. So again, if you guys are interested in learning more about the privacy policy, speed streaming, and torrenting capability, as well security features of these VPNs, you'll find the full reviews down below. And if you'd like to jump straight to pricing and discounts, you'll also find those in the description as well. And of course, they're all covered by a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can test drive these VPNs for 30 days risk free. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.